Day 4. Because of adoption, I have the Spirit of the Son. As believers in Jesus Christ, we experience a dual reality of being born of God and adopted into His family. This adoption is not merely a legal status, but it also signifies a birth through regeneration to become full-grown heirs of God's kingdom. Through regeneration, we have received the Spirit of the Son, which enables us to cry out, Abba, Father. The Spirit testifies to our new identity as children of God, partakers of the divine nature and co-heirs with Christ. Our adoption into, into the Sonship grants us access to the blessings and inheritance that God has prepared for us in Christ. While justification by the Son has granted us access to the rights of Sonship, the Spirit of the Son brings us the life, the sensation, the witness and the atmosphere of Sonship. The Spirit bears witness with our spirit that we are sons of God, heirs of God and joint heirs with Christ. The law of the Spirit of life that makes us free from the spirit of slavery and from the spirit of fear is that the mind set on the Spirit is life and peace. To have a mind set on the Spirit is to have a mind that is agreeing with the truth, that the Spirit bears witness to. This is the leading of the Spirit and the voice of our Shepherd. This is why Paul says, as many as are led of the Spirit of God are the children of God. For because you have not received a spirit of bondage again unto fear, but a spirit of sonship in which we cry, Abba, Father. The Spirit bears witness with our spirit that we are children of God and heirs, heirs of God and joint heirs of Christ. This is why preaching the gospel to ourselves become a vital practice of the Christian life. It is not a legal obligation or an ordinance, but a partaking of the Spirit and an enjoyment of the fellowship of the Father and the Son and enjoyment of the life of the Son that we have received, which washes and renews us in the knowledge of Him. Verses But as many as received Him to them gave He power to become the sons of God, even to them that believe on His name. John 1.12 And because ye are sons, God had sent forth the Spirit of His Son into your hearts, crying, Abba, Father. Galatians 4, 6. Jesus answered and said unto him, Verily, verily, I say unto thee, Except a man be born again, he cannot see the, the kingdom of God. John 3, 3. Not by works of righteousness which we have done, but according to his mercy, he saved us by the washing of regeneration and renewing of the Holy Ghost. Titus 3, 5. For as many as are led by the Spirit of God, they are the sons of God. Romans 8.14 Prayer Confession Thank you, Lord, for adopting me into your family and for giving me the Spirit of your Son. Your grace, I have been born again and made a full-grown heir of your kingdom. I am grateful that your Spirit testifies to my new identity as your child and co-heir with Christ. Thank you for granting me access to the blessings and inheritance you have prepared for me in Christ. Thank you for the freedom from bondage and freedom that your spirit brings. Help me to have a mind set on your spirit and to be led by your voice. Thank you for the life, the sensation, the witness and the atmosphere of sonship your spirit brings. Help me to preach the gospel to myself and to partake of your spirit, enjoying fellowship with you and the life of your Son. Thank you for the scriptures that remind me of your love and grace. I believe in your name and receive the power to become your child. I thank you for sending the spirit of your Son into my heart, enabling me to cry out, Abba, Father. I thank you for the washing of regeneration and renewing of the Holy Ghost that you have given me. I pray that you continue to renew me in the knowledge of you and that you help me to walk in your truth. Thank you for making me your child and for giving me the privilege of being a joint heir with Christ 
In Jesus' name, amen.